Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the life cycle of an apple. We're going to come right here at the very top, one finger, and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line out, curve line in, come back to the dot, curve line out, curve line in, connect. I come back to the top and I draw a slightly curved line up on the left, curved line at the top, curved line down on the right. I'm going to come inside this space and I'm going to draw curve line out, curve line in, connect. Curve line out, curve line in, connect. Curve line out, curve line in, connect. Curve line out, curve line in, connect, curve line out, curve line in, connect. And what these are, this is the inside of an apple cut in half, and these are the seeds. S-E-E-D-S. -E now I'm going to draw some bigger seeds so that you can see them. Curve line down, curve line up, connect. Curve line down, curve line up, connect. Curve line down, curve line up, connect. You take the seeds and you're going to plant them. So we're going to draw a curve line going down, straight line across, straight line down, straight line up, connect. Then we're going to draw a slightly wavy line and we're going to draw a straight line up, curve line in, curve line out, straight line down, connect. And then underneath the wavy line, we're just going to draw some little roots. This, once you put the seeds inside the soil or the earth or the dirt, you get a sprout. S P R O U T. Now we're going to draw another curve line going down, straight line across, straight line down, straight line up, connect. Starting right about here, I'm going to put a dot and we're going to draw a slightly curved line down, come back to the dot, slightly curved line down, curve line across, and connect. I'm going to put one straight line, two straight lines on the right, one straight line, one straight line on the left. I come up to the very tippy top and I draw a curve line out, curve line in, connect, and I put a straight line in the middle, come down to this one, curve line out, curve line in, connect, Put a straight line in the middle, curve line out, curve line in, connect, straight line in the middle. Now on the left hand side I'm going to do the same thing. Curve line out, curve line in, connect, straight line in the middle, and down here at the bottom, curve line out, curve line in, connect, straight line in the middle. So. When the sprout starts growing into a little baby apple tree, that's called a sapling. S-A-P-L-I-N-G. Sapling. Okay. Now I'm going to draw a straight line across, straight line down, straight line out, straight line in, connect. I'm going to put a dot right there. From that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line out, curve line in, 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 curve line out, curve line in. If you have room, 
one, two, three little curved lines, and if you have room, little baby circles at the end. I come right down to this very bottom, and I'm just going to draw straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. And now I'm going to put a curved line out, curved line in, curved line in the middle. Curved line out, curved line in, slightly curved line in the middle. Come all the way up to the top, curved line out, curved line in, slightly curved line in the middle. One more, curved line out, curved line in, slightly curved line in the middle. What is this? This is the blossom, the flower, the blossom that turns into the apple on the tree. B-L-O-S-S-O-M-S, -S -S and in parentheses, I'm going to put on tree, because there's a lot of them on the tree. How do they get that way? They first have to be pollinated. So we're going to draw a little B. We're going to draw a curved line, curve line, connect. I'm going to put a curve line out, in on the up side, curve line out, in on the bottom. Two little dots if you can fit them and a little happy face. One, two, three straight lines and a little straight line at the end because it's through the pollination of the bee on the blossoms that makes ultimately the apple. So right here we're going to write pollination. P-O-L-L-I-N-A-T-I-O-N. -L -L pollination. Okay. Now we're going to draw another curved line up straight line across, straight line up, straight line down, connect. Right at the tip of that, I'm just going to draw a wavy line out, wavy line in, connect, and I'm going to come up and I'm going to draw a curve line out, jump over, curve line down, curve line up, jump over, curve line, connect. Now I'm going to add baby circle, maybe two baby circles here, another baby circle, another baby circle here. Once I've added those, then I come back and I go curve line, curve line, connect, 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 fit a little teeny one, curve line, curve line because that is the apple tree that's going to grow the fruit, which is the apple. So at the very, very tippy top over here, let's just draw a curve line down on the left, curve line down on the right, connect, little straight line, straight line. We can fit another curve line. And this is the fruit, F-R-U-I-T. And you then, you draw another curve line, straight line down, straight line out, straight line connect. So you can see this is all the cycle. You start with the seeds, plant to a sprout, grows into a sapling, turns into blossoms, is pollinated by the bees, grows the tree, and here's all the fruit. So we're going to call this life cycle, L-I-F-E, cycle, C-Y-C-L-E, of an apple, A-P-P-L-E. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to outline the outside of this piece of apple because what you have to remember is this is the apple cut in half. So this is an inside view of the apple. So that's going to be red and I'm going to color the stem brown and my little seeds I'm going to do brown. They're almost black brown. 
So over here on my seeds on this side, I'm going to color these also brown. Okay? Now I come down to my sprout, and I'm going to use the brown again. I'll do color by color. And I'm going to color my roots. Those are going to be brown. I come over to my sapling, and I color the inside part brown. I come over to the bottom of my blossom, and this is the part that's connected to the main part of the tree. So that's going to be brown. And then I come up to my tree that's got all the fruit, and I'm going to make this brown. And then this little stem up here at the top, I'm going to make that brown. Okay. Now I get out my green, and I'm going to do this section of my sprout green. I'm going to make my leaves on my sapling green. And these are the, the leaves around the blossom, and these should be green. The blossom we're going to keep white. And then this is the bottom part of the tree where the ground is. And the tree leaves are all green. So this should all be green. Okay? Then I take out my red. And these apples need to be red right here. That's what these little baby circles are. This is my fruit. This should be red. And I'm going to take a blue and I'm going to color in the arrows, tips of my arrows. So they're going to go all the way around, cycle, and show you how the fruit and the apple, how they get there. The last thing I'm going to do, if you have room, I'm just going to put a little bit of yellow on my B. Now the bee is very important because he does pollination on the blossoms and that's really what triggers the apple. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my life cycle of an apple all colored in. I think it's very important for children and adults to know that apples grow on trees and not just in boxes at the grocery store. Okay, bye bye.